Hello everyone and welcome to Learning with Lee, where we discuss nature and wildlife on Kiowa Island. I'm your host, Lee Bundrick, Land Preservation Coordinator with the Kiowa Conservancy. The maritime forest on Kiowa Island has many species of trees which form a dense canopy throughout the island proper. Of all the trees found in the forest, none is as grand and stately as the southern live oak. At full maturity, the average live oak can grow between 40 and 80 feet tall and 60 to 100 feet wide typically growing wider than it is tall. However, they have the potential to grow even larger. The angel oak found on Johns Island is one of the largest specimens in South Carolina, with a single branch reaching 187 feet in length and a trunk circumference of around 28 feet. Live oaks are also long-lived, with some specimens recorded to being up to 1,000 years old. Their magnificent stature also comes with some rugged durability to the harsh environmental conditions along the coast. Beyond the upland forest, they thrive in low elevations near the tidal marshlands and are the dominant tree behind select beach dunes. Near the tidal marshes, these trees grow throughout the rolling hills and low elevations of the salt shrub thicket. Salts typically influence the vegetative growth in these areas with only the most tolerant plants surviving. Live oaks typically do well in these areas but exhibit stunted growth, usually only reaching about 25 feet tall. In some cases, their branch will reach out into the marsh to capture sunlight, giving them a wider appearance. In the maritime shrub thicket found just behind the beach dunes, they dominate much of the landscape and create a nearly an impenetrable canopy. Likewise, in this habitat, they exhibit some unique growth features, forming what seems to be a neatly pruned giant shrub between the beach and the forest. This natural phenomenon occurs when the coastal winds blow salts off the surface of the Atlantic Ocean and into the forest. The salts burn the leaves and the branch tips, limiting the upward growth of the branches. The leaves and twigs instead grow outward, causing the canopy to become even more dense. Live oaks support biodiversity by providing services to a host of native wildlife on Kiowa Island, especially butterflies and other lepidopterans. It is listed as a larval host for horses' dusky wing, white hair streak, and northern hair streak butterflies, as well as the consular oakworm moth. Highly suitable habitat for bobcats can be found in the maritime shrub thicket behind the beach dunes and the salt shrub thicket adjacent to tidal marshlands both habitats which contain live oak as a canopy tree. The cover provided by these oaks as a component of the various plant communities provides shelter and traveling cover for island bobcats. Live oaks stand as an idyllic symbol of strength and resilience of communities in the South Carolina Lowcountry, surviving decades of rough environmental conditions and severe weather found along the coast. As we've learned today, they also serve a vital role in supporting biodiverse wildlife in the coastal ecosystem. Thank you for joining us as we feature the Southern Live Oak. Join us again next time for another episode of Learning with Lee.